Good morning, good afternoon. It is Chris Terrell coming at you from our Butis RV here in cloudy <laughs> Nanaimo, British Columbia. Today I'm going to introduce you to this 2015 Navion 24G. Let's have a peek. So this little Navion built by Winnebago uh, is built on the Mercedes chassis. So this is going to give you a little Bluetech V6 diesel engine. They use these for uh, the sprinters and their passenger van, so that it's a great platform. It is a one-ton platform. It gives you the dual rear wheels in the back for stability and weight handling. What I like on this guy is the under storage compartments that you've got. So you do have places to put your gear. Uh, you got a 3.6 kilowatt Cummins uh, generator on the back side here. All controllable, obviously, from inside. Nice, big, durable awning on the outside with outdoor speakers just below it. You can notice in the back here we do have this bump out that's going to be for your queen size bed on the inside and then underneath the bed through the back here you've got some nice storage as well and there seems to be some controllers for your slide outs and oh, even a light the hitch is got a 500 pound uh, rating so i believe that'll let you tow up to about 5,000 pounds now you got privacy tint on the windows you've got a water station in the back here as well as your power point so you can get your uh, connections all centralized. Over here you've got your connections for your septic. Uh, what am I looking at there? It looks to be like a water tank. And then your propane uh, fill is back here as well. Septic hose. And over here you've got your uh, extra storage. The tires on this look really recent. Uh, you're dealing with a uh, Nokian Rodiva AT, so it's an all-terrain tire. So it's going to be a little, uh, little more durable if you are taking this off-road at all. Let's bring this around to the inside. So we're just going to head on into the unit here. And I'm going to pan out. There we go, best I can do. So we can get a really good look at the inside. So over here is your dinette. That table will disappear and that will collapse down and away uh, for when you're in travel thermostat on the wall you do have these nice overhead compartments which are really nice what am i doing wrong here they are locked pardon me so they are uh, on a switch too so you do have lighting that does appear there you got some more storage over here top mounted speakers and some more lighting you can get a shade for that skylight that's going to overlook the cab area on the mercedes very sharp. There is navigation on this guy. It does have rear view uh, camera. Coming around, you've got your controls for your Jensen Entertainment Center. And then down low, we've got awning lights, awning control, coach battery. Set that on. Get some light going over the sink. So we do have a 50-50 sink in the back here with a residential style faucet. The two burner stove, which is always handy. Up top, you've got yourself a microwave. A good little fridge in the back with some storage and pocket drawers, which is really handy. So you can put your spices, your utensils and whatnot through it in here. And then above the fridge in the back, lit again. Controls for your slides. Uh, what are we looking at here? So uh, readouts for your water pump, uh, electric water heater, battery readout, tank heater, which is good to know that you have that. A TV in the bedroom area. I'm just gonna take a step back here to get an idea of what's going on with this queen size bed, which is a good size. In the ward, you have a lot of closet space in here. Now it looks like they have a tie down in here. Uh, so if you need to secure something, probably the tabletop, I'm assuming that's what that would be for. More drawers and then access to uh, winter eyes. And we'll just head into the bathroom here. And that's a nice size as well. So a couple of medicine cabinets just for extra storage. Fantastic fan above. 
and then a corner shower with skylights. And then just as you're coming around the corner, you do have space for your linens as well. And from back here, we'll just take a look moving forward of the coach. I left those open and another large skylight dead center. The front seats obviously uh, swivel around, so that's kind of nice. And then you're on your way out. I want to thank you for watching this with me today. Again, it's Chris Torello coming at you from Arbutus RV here in Nanaimo. Have yourselves a great day. Thanks for watching.